Good morning. Welcome to another beautiful day in paradise. Uh, so today we're, we're continuing our study on generosity, uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 8 and chapter 9. And uh, I'm going to keep this short and sweet because it is short and sweet. God has promised that he is very generous with his gifts to us. And he wants us to follow suit, to be generous in our gifts to one another. Generosity is not uh, a trait of the rich. It's not something that God expects of those who have a lot. He expects that of those who love a lot. And that is you and I. And we've been given a lot. I mean, I guess you could say we are rich. We, we, we truly are. But it's that love that really characterizes us. It's the love that God has given to us. The love that God inspires in us. And so whether it's our time, whether it's our love, whether it's our compassion, whether it's our money, God expects us to give it to one another in return. And in 2 Corinthians chapter 9, he really just, just goes over and above with his generosity, promising us that when we use the gifts that we have, he will continue to give us more. And it's, it's, it's like in life uh, with our kids. You know, we, <laughs> if they're responsible with what we give them, well, perhaps we give them more. We give them more stuff. We give them more responsibility in a job. If uh, an employer sees that you are responsible with what you have, you will get more responsibility, more privilege. Uh, and this is what God says. If you are abundant with your blessings, abundant with your generosity, I will make sure that you can continue to do this, God says. Uh, an amazing thing, something that we, we take on faith, something that we take on trust, but something I guarantee you, God guarantees you, you will see in your life. If you're generous with what you have, you will be able to be more generous in the future. God's promise. I'm going to read this to you now. Uh, from gener from <laughs> 2 Corinthians chapter 9, Generosity Encouraged. Beginning at verse 6, he says, Remember this, whoever sows sparingly will also reap sparingly. And whoever sows generously will also reap generously. Each of you should give what you have decided in your heart to give, not reluctantly or under compulsion, for God loves a cheerful giver. And God is able to bless you abundantly so that in all things, at all times, having all that you need, you will abound in every good work. As it is written, they have freely scattered their gifts to the poor. Their righteousness endures forever. Now he who supplies seed to the sower and bread for food will also supply and increase your store of seed and will enlarge the harvest of your righteousness. You will be enriched in every way so that you can be generous on every occasion. And through us, your generosity will, resu will result in thanksgiving to God. Uh, may we always know God's love as we do. May we always see his blessings as we do. And may we respond in kind and be generous with one another. So let's pray. Father in heaven, thank you for this day. Thank you for all of the blessings that you give. Thank you for... Um, your abundant generosity. May we see it. May we appreciate it. And may we respond in kind. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God's blessings on your day.